Okay, friends, let's go ahead to the real stuff. Now we're gonna start implementing the friendship functionality. There are a lot of packages out there which have already done this, but the purpose of this tutorial is that we learn how to use Lavo better. So we're gonna be building our own from scratch. So first of all, we'll need to set up a friendships table that is gonna keep the records of our friendships in the application. And we're also gonna need a model to interact with this table. So let's go ahead and set that up. PHP artisan make model, which would we'll call friendship. And with that, we need a migration created. So if we head over to our application and then navigate to the friendships table, the first thing we are gonna set here is an integer, which is gonna store the, the ID of the user who is requesting for a friendship. So we'll just call this requester. And the next thing we're gonna set up here is the integer also of the ID of the user who is being requested. So we'll just say user requested. You can call this however you want. I'm just trying to call it like this so we understand and it's more explicit. And the next thing we, got, we, we need to store in our database is the status of the friendship. So this is gonna be a Boolean. And this is simply gonna tell us if that friendship has been accepted or refused. So we'll call this status. And, and uh, by default, this is gonna be a zero. So we'll just say default is zero. So the friendship by default is not accepted. It's just a friendship request. Now, if we go ahead to our friendship mod model, we need to set up our flavor fields so that we'll be able to mass assign variables or mass assign data into our database table. So I'll say protected and the variable is fillable. So we'll be able to fill our requester be able to fill our user requested field and we'll be able to fill our status that's set up now if we go to our user.php model it's it looks very cumbersome already so what i would like to set up is a trait so that it i would give the functions that this user.php class needs to be able to implement to have friendship functionality. So I'm gonna extract this into a thread like use friendable, for example, just so that we don't have to pack in all the methods for our friendship functionality into this model. So normally you can do it right here. And for threads, we actually use threads when we want to make a particular amount of functions common to maybe two classes. For example, a user class, or if we had an application where there were students and employees, we might be able to implement friendship for the students and friendship for the employees by using the thread because they have exactly the same functions. So what we are gonna do in this case is just use a thread as a function bank. So right here, I'm just gonna say use app thread friendable. So I'm gonna create an app threads directory. And in this directory, I'm gonna have a thread called friendable. And this is where we are gonna put all our threads. And the, the user model is simply gonna extract functions from this thread. So in my app directory, I'll create a new directory called threads. And in this directory, I'm gonna have a new file. And I'm gonna save that file as friendable.php. So our friendable.php is simply gonna be a PHP file and I'm gonna namespace this to app threads. The next thing is to specify the name of the thread and this will be friendable. Okay, so we are gonna implement the methods for our French friendships here and our user model is simply going to use these methods. So for example, if we implement a method called hello, and we say this method is simply gonna return hello world, hello friends. And uh, we try to check that out, for example, in our web.php by creating a route that is gonna help us see what the hello method spits out. So we're just gonna call that method on the auth user. And since the user.php class is implementing this thread, we can go ahead and call the hello method, which is found in this thread. So let's go ahead and check that out. So if we navigate to slash hello, we should be able to see hello. 
and that works so we see hello friends which is coming out from our threads so we're just gonna start implementing all our functions for our threads right here